there's anything that you were going to tell kids about angling, fishing in the outdoors, what's the number one most important thing to share with kids? We started a, a videotape about getting kids involved in fishing, and we did that for Banquet Foods, a video. And the way we started that, we started with a, a little tackle box. And we thought, well, what is the best way to start this? And we started on a pond because so many young fishermen were their first fishing. You know, a pond was a great training ground to, you know, to teach children how to fish. And we start with a tackle box. And that was the first step. How to pack a tackle box. And we took lures that were easy to fish. Lures that fish for you instead of you having to fish the lure. And lures instead of like a plastic worm was kind of hard to fish. That was a lure you had to fish. So we took like a crankbait. Now a crankbait was a type of bait that fish for you. You threw it out there and it wiggled. So that bird was fishing for you. And like an inline spinner, you didn't really have to fish it. It fished for you. Because when you threw it out and you started reeling it, the spinner on it, it See, no, you, you missed that. Uh, so that was fishing You missed that fishing trip. Because you missed it had an iPhone spinner as it turned oh, and flashed. <laughs> and so oh, good. it continued to flash. So it was fishing yeah. for you. And we took like one of the top water baits, and as you threw them out, you popped them along, so that bait kind of fished you. So baits that were easy to fish, we used those type of baits to educate our young anglers on how to fish baits and fish for you, instead of complicated baits, like trying to bounce a jig or something on the bottom, or trying to fish a plastic worm, or try to how to fish deep water how to fish shallow water, and how to fish lures that fish for you. And then we talked about how to pack that tackle box. Put your lighter weight lures on top, in the top trays, and your heavier weight lures on the bottom, where it wouldn't you know, create too much weight to uh, ruin your tackle box. So, and then we laid out there this small pond. The shallow water was up in the upper reaches of the pond, and the deep water was down toward the dam. And we talked about how to approach a pond, that when you approach the pond, how you would fan cast. You make a cast at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, all the way around. That way you would cover the whole area. And as you walk down the bank, you would walk to where your last cast was made, and you'd fan cast that, covering the whole area. And you'd fish from the shallows all the way to the deep, from the shallows all the way to the deep, and you would cover all depth zones that way. So you would teach the, the young man how to fish a pond, trying to establish the most important thing. And that was, you think of what that is? To one depth. You have to establish depth. At what depth the fish are in. You can make a boy this way, and if you don't fish it at the correct depth, you're not going to catch many fish. You have to fish that bait on the depth of the fish you're using in order to catch those fish. So, there's a lot to learn about fishing a pond, and the key way to learn how to fish a pond is one key thing, and that's education. So once you learn how to fish a pond, then you can move to other steps as far as fishing. There's moving water, and then there's bigger lakes. But how to learn to fish one of the greatest trading grounds is the water ponds. So when you fish a pond, it's best probably to learn how to fish the bank. We can learn key little places on the pond, like a point where the points point out fish, or maybe where a, a little creek or a little branch runs into the pond. That's a good place to fish. Uh, anytime you find where a log lays in the water, a tree top lays in the water, uh, any kind of cover, like a little grass bed, anything that attracts you to the fish. <laughs> Another good bait, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't mention 
A spinner bait is another type bait that works for you. You throw it out, it's got a spinner on it. Now, keep this in mind. A spinner bait with a willow leaf blade, you have to reel it much faster because the willow blade spins faster. A spinner bait with a Colorado blade, a round blade, you can work it much slower. So if the bond has color in it, you want to use a crankbait that's a little fatter because it wobbles. And if it wobbles more, it puts out more sound. The spinner bait with a rounder blade vibrates more, therefore it puts out more vibration and attracts fish. Fish in a muddy environment, listen, they, they have to hear about this. They listen to more sound because they can't see it well. In a clear water environment, fish can see better, so you don't have to concentrate as much on vibration as you do if you fish in a muddy pond. So there's little bitty things you can do. So as you as you go along with kids can fish, kids can fish, you might be able to start teaching your young anglers, uh, educate them on how, they, how to fish. So I think you've got a great idea with kids can fish. How did you come up with this great idea? So actually I was on the boat, on our boat, and um, I caught a cobia, and I was like, girls can fish, and then, so we actually have a girls can fish foundation too, so, yeah, girls can fish, and then kids can fish, so, um, kids can fish is like our biggest, and then girls can fish is just a leg of it, and so, um, it started because I said, girls can fish on the boat, and then it kind of started to slowly turn into, oh, boys wanted to be a part of this too, so we decided that it would be a good idea to make it kids. So, so you let the boys fish too. Mm -hmm. See, you could something else you can do. You can take, uh, you know, it's all through education. You know, I was fortunate when I was your age, and even younger, I was blessed that I had a daddy and a granddaddy that gave me the greatest gift, possibly gift me, and that was they taught me how to fish. And I learned how to fish. We didn't have a pond close by. We had a creek. So I learned how to fish moving water. And so my granddaddy taught me more about fish anatomy, how to fish sea, how to fish here, and how to wade the creek. And how to fish for little things in a creek. And one thing he first taught me was how to cast. And not to use your whole arm. All casting is is in the wrist. And how to hold a piece of foot pretty quick. If you're using a push button reel, always turn the handles up. Because your wrist will bend more in this direction than it will in this direction. So if you hold the rod with the handle pointed out, the rod tip will bend straight up. I got these, but they're because your wrist will only bend this much. But if you turn and hold the handles up, your wrist is going to bend much better because you can load the rod and get better projectors. So that's what you can teach your young anglers. What you do with your rod? When you're teaching, kids can fish too. Teach these young fishermen. And you're no, and you I'm one member and the kids can teach them how to fish. And you can build your membership a lot more. A fisherman that can fish is going to be a happy fisherman. A fisherman that can't fish is going to lose interest. So you want them to create interest. And they can fish. Yeah, they can fish. So you want them to create interest. And if he can fish, he's going to be much happier. He's going to become a better person. And uh, so we can, a boy's not going to admit that you taught him how to fish. You know how boys are. Yeah, because I, I, we have a lot of boys in my neighborhood, and they are not like, I'm better than they are. And so they're always just asking me to unhook their fish or hook up their bait. Or like, they're always asking me to do something. Well, when they see how far you can catch, you can throw a, a, a lure in a bucket at 25 feet and they can't, they're going to start listening about what you can do. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, good luck to you. All if right. I can ever help you, you give me a call. Okay? Right. So remember, think about Kids Can Fish too. It's a great organization. And this gal here, she can fish.
Mr. Dance, that was an education. Thank you, sir. Okay, I hope it'll help.